Hello and welcome to the fourth day of the first test match between Bangladesh and South Africa. Before we start with the highlights of the fourth day, just a quick review of the first three days. On day one, South Africa were put to bat first. And while batting first, South Africa scored 367 runs. And the key performers there were Dean Elgar 67, Saril Alri 41, Bevoma 93, just 7 short of his 100, Simon Harmer 38 not out, and Calvarini 28. From the bowling side, the most successful bowler was Khalid Ahmed. He took 4 wickets. Then Mahdi Hassan took 3, and Ibadat Hussain took 2. In response, Bangladesh started their batting and they reached up to 298 in their first innings, and the key performers were Mahmoud al Hassan 106, Najm Hussain 38, Litin Das 41, and Mahdi Hassan 24. From South African bowling side, Simon Harmer took four wickets, Williams took three, and Oliver took one. And in on the third day, as the game started, Sorry, as the game ended on the third day, South Africa were six without loss. Their both openers were not out, Elbury on three and Algar on three, and they started their innings on. And in at the end of 10 overs, the score reached to 23 without loss, and they started building their innings and started working hard. Where they find the ball, loose balls, they decided to put them away. And on the third ball of 19th over, there was a big loss as Elry lost his wicket LBW to Ibadat Hussain and he, at this stage he scored 8 runs. And on the first ball of 20th, Madhi Hassan was dropped on a reverse sweep and 20 overs South Africa reached to 60 for 1. Sorry, Elgar was dropped on Madhi Hassan's ball and in 20 overs South Africa reached to 60 for 1. On the last ball of 24th over, Algar completed his 50 with a boundary, and that was his 21st Test 50. In 25 overs, South Africa were 83 for 1. Both batsmen, Peterson and Algar, continue playing beautifully, and in 30 overs, the score reached to 99 for 1, and on the first ball of 31st over, they completed the 100. After the lunch, both batsmen started well, and in 30 overs, score reached 213 for 1, Peterson 28, Algar 63. On the third ball of 38th over, there was a big appeal of LBW for Dean Algar, and it was given note out, and it was reviewed, and review showed three reds, and the CN was turned over, so Thaskin Ahmed got the big wicket of Dean Algar at 64. And in 38 overs, South Africa 116 for 2. Bevema came in place of Alga. Soon after, as they were trying to settle in on the fourth ball of 43rd over, Mahdi Hassan took the wicket of Peterson and the catch was taken by Mahmoud Al Hassan at short fine leg. And he was gone for 36. And at this stage, South Africa were 126 for 3. Yasser Ali, who was the new batsman in, he, sorry, Bevoma was playing with Rick Hilton, and Bevoma lost his wicket to Ibadat Hussain on the fourth ball of 40th, third over, and his catch was taken by Yasser Ali, and this was again a big wicket. Varini came to join Rick Hilton, and they both started building up the innings, and as in 50 overs, they were 145 for 4. Varini on 5 and Rickleton on 13. On the first ball of 53rd over, Varini tried to do reverse sweep to Mahdi Hassan and catch was taken by Shadman Islam and he scored 6 runs. And that was the 5th wicket. 148 for 5 at this stage. The tea break was taken at the end of 61st over. And at this stage, South Africa were 157 for 5, Rick Hilton on 18, 
and Mulder on six. Soon after the tee on the first ball of 65th over, Mahdi Hassan took the wicket of Mulder and his catch was taken by Yasir Ali at the slip. He scored 11 runs. Maharaj was the new batsman in, but soon after on the fourth ball of 66th over of Taskin Ahmed Maharaj was given LBW and he scored 5 runs. And that was 183 for 7 in 66 overs. Harmer was the new batsman in and he started uh, building the innings and as uh, the reached to 5th ball of 73rd over Mahdi Hassan was bowling and Harmer played the short and they took come back for the second run and there was a throw which resulted the dismissal of Simon Harmer Harmer for 11 runs that was the 8th wicket of South Africa 202 for 8 and on the very first ball of 74th over there was another run out and this time it was Rickleton and that was the ninth wicket gone for South Africa. And on the last ball of the over, Ibad Hussain took the wicket of the last man Oliver. He was given LBW and that was the end of South Africa. And they scored 204 in the second innings with a key performance of Dean Elgar 64, Peterson 36. Rickleton not out 39 and from Bangladesh bowling side three wickets were taken by Mahdi Hassan three by Ibadat Hussain and two by Taskin Ahmad so the target for Bangladesh in fourth innings was at 274 with a half an hour remaining on the fourth day both openers started Shadman Islam and Mahmoud Al Hassan Joy and pretty soon when the score reached to for just on the second ball of second over, Shadman gave an edge to Harmer's ball and catch was taken by Peterson a slip. That was the first loss for Bangladesh. And then the new batsman with Mahmoud al Hassan Joy and Shantu was there. And Mahmoud al Hassan Joy on the first ball of fifth over was bowled by Maharaj. And that was gone through the gap between the bat and pad, and that was the second wicket just in on the first ball of fifth over bangladesh was six for two and all of a sudden on the second last ball of the over and other wicket lbw mominul haq he was lbw by maharaj for two so just in five overs bangladesh for eight for three for all of a sudden and at the end of the play it was six over board and bangladesh for 11 for three now we go to see how they respond tomorrow Will they be able to achieve the target of 273, 74 and win the match or will South Africa run through the rest of the batting line? We go to see how the middle order responds. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Do like, share and comment on the video. Thank you.